Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Nightcore IntelliCharger i4. So this is the new version of the i4. The previous version they had under the Sysmax name, which is Nightcore and Jetbeam's parent company. Not really many people know the Sysmax name, so thankfully they put this under Nightcore because that is a name that a lot of people know and trust. So we're going to open it up, show you what you get on the inside. It's pretty much just the charger. So you have the charger body with the spring-loaded bays and then the power cord. Instruction manual, I highly, highly recommend reading this because it gives you information about compatible batteries, uh, all, the, uh, all the different precautions, operating instructions, and all that kind of stuff. So the really cool thing about the i4 IntelliCharger is that it could charge different kinds of batteries. So a lot of times in the past you needed a hobby charger or something where you could set the voltage. This one, you stick the batteries in and it detects what kind of batteries they are. So it'll charge nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and lithium ion batteries. Don't try to charge anything else because it won't take or won't handle those very well. You may have the possibility of fire and explosion, which is never fun when it's not intended. <laughs> so only use those kind of batteries in here. Um, and it talks about some other precautions. The one thing I would like to note is that uh, for like small AAA and uh, 10440 lithium ion batteries, it can charge those, but because it charges at such a high rate when you only have one battery in there, make sure you charge at least two at a time. And you want to put them in slots one and three or slots two and four. And all that stuff is in here. Definitely take a look at this. It's always a good idea to, uh, to read all that stuff. And the really cool thing about this is that those different battery types, you can insert different battery types and different capacities in here at the same time. Because each of these bays is independent uh, for the most part and it can charge the different battery types independently. So it'll charge them at the correct voltage independently. So that's really, really cool. You can see the list of the, uh, the sizes that it'll charge up here, quite a few different sizes. So I mean, anything down from 10 440s all the way up to 26650s. Not really sure how 26650s fit in this thing, but uh, if they say it can be done, <laughs> I'm sure they tested it. But someone's gonna ask, so I'll go ahead and tell this real quick. Output voltage is either 4.8 volts or 1.48 volts. Output current is either 375 milliamps times four or 750 milliamps times two. So that's where I was talking about when you're charging the small batteries, you wanna make sure that you put in at least two at once because that higher milliamp, they do not work well with that. All right, so got all that stuff out of the way. Um, definitely read the manual. <laughs> you don't wanna be starting any fires because a lot of the lithium ion batteries, especially a lot of power on those things, and uh, they can be dangerous, even though they are relatively safe. All right, so here is the charger itself. You can see, pretty simple little unit, four spring-loaded bays. You have LEDs above each one to show the charging status, and then the cord. So we're gonna go ahead and take the cord off. We'll plug it in, and we'll throw some batteries in here so you can see how this thing operates. Because it's kind of neat. They say on there, I think it says something like, insert, detect, charge, or something along those lines. Basically, you put the batteries in, it detects what's in there, and then it starts charging them. All right, Got one end of the plug. Let's take that end in there. So you have the blue LED up top, just to indicate that the unit is on. And then again, you have the LEDs above each bay. So we're gonna put four different kinds of batteries in here. Actually, we're gonna put three different kinds of batteries in here <laughs> because I apparently only bought, brought three different kinds of batteries in here home. So we have a couple of Eagle Tech uh, 18650, the 3100 milliamp ones the uh, with the Panasonic cells. Awesome, awesome 18650s if you need some of those. So we're gonna stick one of those in bay one. We're gonna stick the other one in bay three. And the other two batteries we have here are a couple of uh, AA size batteries. So we have a Sanyo Eneloop, Nickel Metal Hydride, we're going to stick in bay 2 and in bay 4 we are going to stick a 14500 this is one of the aw 14500s so you can see the leds start going and uh, when they're blinking that means that they're charging and you can see when uh when the leds start getting up higher so you have three leds and they'll start flashing down at the bottom when they are all the way down low and uh, as the leds get higher that's when it's charging more and more so you can see, nothing's on fire. If I left this here, it wouldn't catch on fire. Really cool charger. Stick the batteries in, automatically detects them, and uh, gets going. But we're gonna go ahead and pull out the AA-sized ones. 
because this is the version 2 of this one. Like I said, the original problem with the version 1, why they had to have a recall, was uh, that it didn't work very well with 120 volt power sources, which is of course what we have here in the US. And you know, I actually use one, I've been using one since then, even though I told customers not to do it, <laughs> I still did it. Um, and the big problem was when you're charging four batteries of the same kind, it didn't work very well. But I have four of the EagleTac 18650s and I'm gonna stick them in. Here you can see that the LEDs are not gonna error out like they did before, it's just gonna charge away because this has been thoroughly tested to work just fine with 120 volt power sources. You charge four of the same battery types at once or you can charge four different battery types, whatever you wanna do. One thing I wanna note real quick is that this actually does have three different charging modes. So it has constant current, constant voltage, and trickle charge. And it's not something you select. When you put the batteries in, it detects the kind of battery, it detects the voltage on there, so it detects the charge, and it'll select the appropriate voltage and the appropriate mode. So uh, you don't have to do anything, it'll do everything automatically for you. So pretty cool feature. So really, really cool charger. So this is the, the uh, Nightcore IntelliCharger i4. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com, just like everything else we talk about. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We talk about a lot of flashlights, batteries, fire starters, backpacks, all kinds of cool stuff. Thanks for watching.